Hello, my name is John Wanna. I hope to be the next president-elect of the American Chemical Society. Imagine an image of the Super Bowl, or maybe a Beyonce concert, or a picture of Times Square. Imagine that every object, everything in that picture had a line drawn from it with a patent number of the inventors that it's based on. Now imagine that you zoom in on those patent numbers and see the faces of the chemistry inventors, and beside them the faces of the chemists whose publications in the journals the inventions were based on. What you would not see is a crazy bunch of white-haired old men in stained lab coats. You'd see a little bit of everyone. By the numbers, the faces would not quantitatively look like our real population distribution, but we'd all be there. I don't think people outside of chemistry truly understand this, that the toothpaste that they use was invented by someone standing beside them at their kid's soccer game, that a component in their cell phone was invented by someone two rows in front of them at church, that the diabetes drug their fathers take was invented by someone they saw at the mall. Chemistry is everywhere, but it goes mostly unseen. Sadly, society has come to view this invisibility of chemistry as something insidious like a monster under our beds lurking, waiting to hurt us. Open up the newspaper, turn on the radio, look on the internet. You all know the stories. Carcinogens, climate change, ocean plastics. When chemistry is visible, it's usually not good. But it doesn't have to be this way. We have so much to celebrate as chemists at the American Chemical Society. Our members are doing amazing things. There are many things I dream of doing. But here are three main themes. One, broadening the chemistry community. We're at a crossroads. We desperately need to make our portraits of inventors' image be more representative of our entire population. There's an urgency here. We need new eyes, new ideas, not only to underscore the things we might do, but sometimes suggest some things we should. Two, invention education. Engineering has been doing a great job reaching into education programs, and engineering challenges seem to be quite popular. But these activities are mostly mechanical or based on software development. We need to do a better job getting the concept of chemistry more front and center to show how the fundamentals of chemistry solve real world problems and let people know just how exciting it can be. And third, multidisciplinary. I'm not talking just about organic chemists working with physical chemists or even chemists working with biologists. Of course, these are all super important. I'm talking about shining the spotlight on chemists working with entrepreneurs, with marketers, with lawyers, with salespeople, with politicians, with musicians, with athletes. There is beauty in this diversity. Invention with intention requires that we continue to cultivate and celebrate the amazing things the ACS is already well known for. But we have an opportunity to be more accessible to the non-chemistry community, because at the end of the day, we do what we do to serve them. If I'm granted this honor to be president-elect of the ACS, I can only promise to do the best I can to share my passion and love of chemistry with communities inside and outside our society. I feel that the world is facing so many struggles, exacerbated by the COVID pandemic. Too many people feel isolated, alone, with a feeling of not belonging us against them, we against they, seems to be part of the reality we now live in. But if you think about it, chemistry is in a unique position here. I feel very strongly that we have an important perspective to offer society. Interestingly, it's the very foundation of who we are as chemists. Is matter a wave or a particle? Chemists understand that it's both. Is a conjugated molecule one resident form or another? We're comfortable with it being both. A pairs of tautomers, an enol or a ketone? We recognize the existence of both. I want us to imagine a role in society beyond our beakers and flasks. We explore these foundational concepts of chemistry, creating bonds between people, superimposing points of view to find common ground and letting people understand that at the end of the day, we are all unique assemblies of nearly identical collections of molecules. We need to teach our students the profound responsibility that comes with the power of chemistry. Decisions in the lab can have impacts on the health of people, the stability of ecosystems, and the economic and social justice for our communities. Instead of discussing tearing down the silos of disciplinarity, we must come to terms with the reality that those boundaries never existed in the first place except as intellectual constructs that end up pushing us apart instead of bringing us together. I realize that being president of the American Chemical Society is only for one year and has a limited time to accomplish as much as a dreamer like me might dream. But I believe the American Chemical Society is a community of dreamers who are catalysts and nucleating crystals 
with a nudge here and there from the American Chemical Society, self-assembly might just be exponential. Let's together invent the future. Thank you.